and now anyway All right, I think I'm taking video now. I I haven't played with this camera much, so I gotta have, I gotta get used to it. But I'm gonna drive the other direction. Hopefully, I was taking video the other direction. I guess we'll see, won't we? But uh, we're going back towards the north through the uh, through the island again. I just stopped at Jody's place there. Looks brand new. These, these are big money, so they're gonna, you know, anything above the first, second floors was probably fine. Uh, some wind damage, maybe that sort of thing, and so they've got that all fixed up. There's still a lot of construction containers and stuff sitting there. Um, I mean, they're still working on a lot of stuff, but I'm sure people were able to live in those or inhabit them. I don't know, but. This was not good. Look, there's there. That place is gone. Um, Wyndham Garden. Look at that place is all tore up. They, they're repainting a lot of it. Tore off a lot of the fascia. Most of the debris in the houses and stuff washed up in the bay behind us here. So that, they had to clean all that out. That's what I was talking about before. Uh, the beaches were terrible. When the tide, when the water went back out, it took all the debris with it again, deposited it on the beach. People are still finding glass and screws and nails and all kinds of stuff underneath the sand. So you got to be really careful when you're walking in the sand um, on these beaches. I don't know. I don't know that they tell people that, but I've heard it. Um, I believe that used to be a little camper park there. I'm not sure. It's hard. It's hard to tell where anything was if you were down here before it's hard to tell what was where um, because things have changed so much some things haven't like there was the big hooters they had a big hooters restaurant we used to go to all the time gone totally gone um, church is gone grocery stores gone there's they're putting up a brand new house there. There's one that's on stilts. It looks in really good shape. It's saved because of the stilts. These all had houses on them. If you look at all these empty lots, all empty. This is towards the Gulf. Those all had houses on them. That's a beach resort. Looks like they've done a good job on those those and those couple buildings there. Here's one that's uh, currently being renovated. Several of them, actually. Um, it's going to take them a while. This place is going to be this way for a long time. A long time. I gotta speed it up, there's a car behind me. Uh, these have been fixed fairly well. Still working on a bunch though. This is a contractor's 
heaven down here. I mean, everybody's working if you're in the construction. Construction, electrical, glass, you name it. There's one that was torn down, totally demoed. Looks like they're still in the process of demoing it. Tiki on the beach. Like I said, some places don't look like there was ever a storm here. A lot of places have never been fixed. That's totally empty. That was houses right there. See, they're living in a camper. They had a they had a house. And you can see all the lots, all the sand washed up through there. That's not, nothing's been changed. And there's piles of sand everywhere where people have sweeped it up. Uh, some of these roads are bad too because they had to repave some of them because some of them were broken up and washed away and some of these manholes tried to rise out of the ground. They're living in a camper. A lot of campers down here. When they get done they'll probably be a lot for sale. They're pretty well used and pretty well lived in, I would imagine. It's almost been two years. So, more empty lots. Just passing the phone company. See, they have a switching office here. I'm telling you, some of these houses look really nice, like that one. And then there's ones that look like this one, still look like it did after it hit. It's terrible. places that are say opening soon that's a breakfast and pancake house to my right you saw that coming in this one they're still working on that that curb was really close I'm not going back into the uh, north end of the island I'm just gonna leave but suffice it to say that in the past month or so when we had all that rain they had three to five feet of, of water back in there as well. Um, all of this had three, three, five feet of storm surge when that last hurricane went, went to the north. Storm surge. You know, it's, water's, water's a bad thing. Water can really mess things up. You, you, you think about a hurricane and you think about wind. But you don't realize that, stop to think about that dome of water that the low pressure of the hurricane sucks it up like a vacuum, sucks up the water. It makes it a dome. And then on the right side of the storm where the winds are the strongest, pushing it on shore. Um, and it just piles up. That's what happened here during Ian. Yeah, we had, there was 20 feet of water here. And it, uh, that was... System ready. It's my radar detector. Um, there was a, it was, it was technically an 18 and a half foot storm surge. Um, this just happens to be very, this is a, this island is at sea level, basically. Uh, that's the Lani Kai. They thought for a long time it may not open, but it looks like, a, I believe it's open. It's one of the big draws here. A lot of people go there. Um... We're getting close to the the uh, t what they call Times Square area. This is the beach. We're getting close to Margaritaville again. Margaritaville. This is all Margaritaville if you look at it. 
one of the few places with a traffic light. I've driven the whole place. Uh, Margaritaville.